Hey everybody, I'm Amy. I'm Dan. We are the Hustle Couple coming at you today with a mega what sold on Etsy, Mercari, Poshmark, and eBay. Nice! Over the holiday. How's it going? How's everybody doing? Hi. Happy 2024. Happy New Year, everybody. Yeah, we got it. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> We're so happy to be back. We left for a week and we kept all of our stores on. We, we did. extended our handling time on eBay so that it would normally we do uh, same day shipping. Yes, but we turned it up to like seven, seven business days handling. So now we have 60 something packages to send out. Yes. Man, this is gonna it's gonna be a fun one. It's Get gonna be a long snack. one. Get a snack. You know you want one. And a beverage, maybe even a a blanket and a pillow. Oh. Get snuggled in. We're gonna be here a little bit. All right, Etsy. We're starting with a little person. <laughs> yes, we are. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Not me. Give me that. A different take one. That. All right, all right. <laughs> um, let's see here. Let's see, this little, this is like one of the older little people. It's like a chunky, what is it called? Chunky? You called it a chunky. It's called a chunky. Fisher Price <laughs> chunky little people, redhead, mom, lady, vintage, figure 1990. This sold for $11.01. It sure did. We never sell anything on Etsy. And yeah. actually, we didn't know we sold this. <laughs> we had no idea. So... The way we found out we sold this is that. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to tell it like it is. Okay, well, every year, <laughs> hold on, before you tell the story, we have a track record of ruining someone's Christmas. Uh -huh. This year was no different. <laughs> nope, we got two. Two on Etsy, ruined. Oh, so, someone else said they ruined two? This guy. Oh, we ruined his Christmas oh, We didn't too. necessarily ruin, but it was supposed to be Christmas. So I, got an e got a, I saw an email that we had been rated for something. We got a new rating on Etsy. It was like one star, <laughs> all caps review. I never got my order. <laughs> and there was zero communication. I'm sorry. Our Etsy emails get filtered weird through Gmail, and I've, I've taken steps to fix it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tina. I'm really sorry. Your little person's on her way. Well, we also sold a coat, which we didn't know we sold. I'm talking, we sold that thing November 29th. I think maybe even earlier. It's been a long time. And Etsy doesn't, like, cancel your orders or anything. So we sold this one a long time ago, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we are not perfect by any stretch. No. We are just here to share our experience with you. And sometimes it includes things like this that are very <laughs> embarrassing. Sorry. I'm very, very sorry. This is a vintage Abercrombie and Fitch jacket coat. I'll tell you what the title is. Abercrombie and Fitch size medium vintage red country clothes nylon bomber coat 1990s. Uh, yeah, I've heard don't use the word bomber, but I did. So this sold for $59.95. Yes. And it's a pretty cool coat. I'll go through and show you the tag so you kind of. No, I know vintage Abercrombie from being a vintage person. <laughs> <laughs> Same. I mean, uh, there's your tag, country clothes. This is how I remember Abercrombie looking. How's that? Oh, yeah. yeah so I'm gonna have to, this is going to be a Christmas ham, a late Christmas ham situation. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Abercrombie stuff is doing well right now, particularly the vintage. We didn't have this listed for too long, and it did sell for 60 If we had shipped it on time, that would have been great. That would have been awesome. That would have been just fabulous. But, yeah, I've been in – I have been since in communication with both buyers. Apologize profusely <laughs> and let them know that their things would be on their way. Yes. Okay. Now we're uh, – I'm going to help Dan with this, and then we're going to move on to Mercari. Okay. Okay. This is a tight one. Yeah, I'm just gonna. You're trying to get this in a flat rate envelope. That's the plan. Is that what you have to do for Etsy? No, it's the label I bought. Okay. <laughs> I think it'll still go in. <laughs> so do. <laughs> do you want to double bag this? <laughs> Would you like another bag? Yes. Okay, great. Sure. I don't know if it's gonna help. <laughs> 
<laughs> this might end up causing more issues because of a trap error. <laughs> Come on, work with me. This is kind of maybe a little overdoing it. I could probably just put it into the. See what I mean? Well, yeah. <laughs> We're starting off with good, good vibes today. Yeah. Yeah, it's really late at night. That's actually Sunday night, just so you know. No, this is not Thursday. Okay, so why don't we just stretch off it like normal? Yeah. Why, why are we Christmas hamming in a new way? Right. Christmas ham the good old-fashioned way. What if we... Stretch wrap <laughs> the crap out of it. This is why you're here anyway, right? Everyone loves when you stretch off things. I've heard it. So if you've never used stretch wrap before, it's the stuff on a roll. Uh, they have it at Walmart and other places. We get ours on Amazon now because the roll inside is paper and not plastic. Anyway, and it's cheaper. I think we have it linked below. It's an affiliate link. If you click it, we get a kickback. Just letting you know. Not a big one, but something. It's really like nothing. But it helps us. It does. So, let's go a couple of times before we really... This is my favorite. <laughs> Love it. And then you go, this way. This is the patented Christmas ham technique. You need something to fit in a flat rate envelope. This is the best way to do it that we've found. You need swirly woo. You need... Okay. You swirl it. Here we go. This is the hamming process right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would it be a holiday video without a Christmas ham? We haven't had one lately. Oh, oh. oh. Sorry. This is looking great. Is it? I think we're going to be good. It's pretty tall. Yeah, it keeps squishing. thing is like solid as a rock. Yeah, it is. We're really not good at selling on it. We've only sold like four things. And this is probably going to be the last yeah. one. <laughs> we have no idea what we're doing. <laughs> okay, come on. If the reviews don't do it for us. Okay, so we need some baby powder. <laughs> Gotta oh, hold it. Use on. a straw. It's the friction. Okay. <sighs> Will it fit into a bag now? The bags have less friction. You're right. Okay, how much plastic can we use? That's the game we're playing. Do you know what? The roll in <laughs> inside the stretch rod's not plastic. <laughs> Dang it! Okay. Sometimes being a okay. reseller is hard. <sighs> you could do this. You want a poly mailer? No, want... I don't know what I want. Okay. okay, this is called the busted biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> Get away. <laughs> Why we should not be on YouTube right now? <laughs> Absolutely not. Everyone is clicked off by now. Goodbye. <laughs> we still have sixty packages. Oh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Here. Tap. I'm in. Okay. Oh my also, god. Also, this was supposed to arrive at the beginning of December. I know. I know. I know there's probably a better or a faster way. I know. I just. Someone's yelling right now. Time is money. <laughs> I know. It's okay. Oh, man. Uh, I'm going to be out of town this week. So we're trying to get stuff done early. This is Sunday night. We don't ever ship the night before, really. But this is an exception because we didn't expect to have this many orders. <laughs> you want me to Nope, nope. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. I've put on pantyhose oh, no. many times. <laughs> this is pantyhose straight out of the shower, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is how it goes. Yes. Pantyhose wearing choke, am I right? I mean, really though. This this has happened to me more times than I would care to admit. You got it. You right got, out of the bathtub. Mm-hmm. Everything sticks to you. When you're late for a wedding. <laughs> I 
Oh man. This is great. This is the best. <laughs> 2024 is really shaping up. I know, right? <laughs> so far. <laughs> We've made some resolutions and just look at us. We're right on top of that, Rose. Here we go. What about you? Look at that. <laughs> there it is. Man. I'm even going to zip it. No, you don't even need to zip oh, it. Oh, we've come this far. Better zip. Oh, man, I wish we had those. Okay, it's okay. zip. Yeah. yeah. It's not. All right. Oh, Lord. Okay, ready? <laughs> this is a fat guy in a little coat situation. <laughs> it is. Actually, let me hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, what are you doing? I'm rescuing it. Oh. Oh, I thought you were ripping it. Okay, hold on. Yes. Yes. Why did you buy that? It's not ready for a coat. <laughs> We I, did this to ourselves. I just want everyone out there to know we did this. Yes, we did. To ourselves. To ourselves. Double whammy. Double whammy. I'm yeah. And now I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna catch it. <laughs> All right. If you're still with us. We are going to transition to Mercari. Mercari! Come on, Mercari. This is a blazer. It's really cool. I like this piece a lot. It's not that piece. I do too. Very cool. All right. So it is a, um, excuse me, Paisley and Gray men's size 38R Dover sport coat jacket plaid brick red slim fit new, new with tags. Uh, and I'll show you the coat. It looks like this. Um, I'm not mm -hmm. sure about this brand. I don't think we've ever sold it before. No, I don't think we have. But it's a really cool piece of menswear. We do do the inside out shot here. And that's the Paisley on the inside, which I guess they're known for. I, I would guess because it's in their name. Here's Paisley and Gray. This sold for $45. Right. And it is going via UPS Shore Post. Shore Post. So um, the newer stuff you can do cheaper on UPS Shore Post if it's one to two pounds. But we didn't go back and change our old listing, so those are still on FedEx Smart Post. Right. Smart Post? Yes. Yeah. So there's just no real way to bulk edit on Macari, so we didn't go back and change it. Mm. And the way that you relist and delist on Vendu is great because you can do it in bulk, but it doesn't really allow for edits. It kind of defeats the purpose. So we're just leaving it. It's a dollar. My tea is like dripping a little bit. We got a, we got a faulty seal here. Oh, dang it. All right. Okay, next is a pair of shoes for Christmas. They ordered these after Christmas, I think, or right around Christmas. So I don't think they were, anyway. Anyway. This wasn't an Etsy situation. Uh, westbound women's size six and a half Christmas mule, slip on shoes, block heel. How's this going? I have a brighter band of shoes. Oh, okay. Um, these sold for $28. I'm glad that they sold this holiday season. They have embroidery on them. We got these at an estate sale buyout, so I don't know if that was something we would normally... Yeah, they were just in there. Pick <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Righty then. Okay, next is a top from Aritzia. And this is a newly listed one as well. The brand Aritzia, if you if you're not familiar, I know a lot of people don't have an Aritzia. It's similar in structure to an anthropology where they have a lot of brands underneath the big brand. So the big brand is Aritzia, and this is a smaller brand under it called Babaton. Uh, their coats do particularly well for us. And uh, you want to be careful of the Babaton sweaters. There's some wool sweaters that are out there, and every one I find is shrunk. 
<laughs> Aritzia Babaton size extra large contour v neck top long sleeve body hugging blouse black. Uh, and this is kind of a Babaton thing, it's pretty basic and it's sold for $30 pretty quickly. It's pretty I'm, sweet though for a basic. I think that it's because this mannequin is rocking this shirt. <laughs> Uh, it could be that someone else has this exact same shirt and wanted another color or a replacement. That happens as well. Sure. But 30 bucks is pretty good. This you don't have. Mm. Yeah, this one we don't have. Okay. And we then we sold a makeup on. item, and I'm not sure. We sold it a year ago, and it didn't come down off Mercari, though. On Vendu, it says it's down off Mercari. So there's some kind of problem. Oh, well, we'll just cancel it. Uh, and then... Uh, I don't have that. Don't have that. I don't have this. I don't have this. No? No. Oh, it's posh. It's posh mark. Oh, we're moving to posh. Moving to posh. There we go. Oh, this is a Xenia polo shirt, which was just recently listed. Uh, men's size large, Italian 52 polo shirt cotton, mother of pearl buttons, which is MOP, and tiny flaw. This sold for $15. 15 bucks. I mean, whatever. It's got right. a flaw. A lot of the things, not a lot. Some of the things we bring home have flaws. I've said it before, but our thrift store, is this the flaw? Uh, no, I think it's from the collar. Yep. Okay. Staple from the oh, thrift store. Gosh, you know. Yep. And so you don't know that there's a flaw. When it's a staple, you guys know this. You don't know it's a flaw until you take out staple and you're like, Right, because well, the collar, the collar's like ribbed, you know what I mean? That texture, mm -hmm. that kind of knit, and it just, it like pulled it and it separated and I couldn't, it was obvious, so I had to note it. What were we to do? Yep. Okay, next is a bundle room. Bundle room. It's a big bundle. Big bundle. I, you haven't been looking at names, so I don't know. Uh, this is our first one, so. Just in general at names. I don't know if any of these are viewer sales. Oh. This is a four-piece bundle. This of... bundle is four. Diana, I don't know. I think is Diana a viewer? I don't know. Thanks, Diana. I'm not sure. Uh, I just don't recognize the last name. That's why we have a lot of Dianes and Dianas. Love you all. So we got two clothes and. Two and days. Diane P retired. Yeah. Okay, so the first thing is. This bar three, I don't, I think we got this in liquidation when we first started reselling. I think that's right. Bar three, women's size medium, cold shoulder, A-line dress, brand new. And this is a stock photo. Our photo, our photo is actually not terrible. <laughs> it's not as good as it could be, but it's not terrible. Right. And then next is this Cheetos. April and I got all these earrings and we listed them and it was super fun for us. <laughs> uh, these Flimmy Hot Cheetos earrings. This is an AI background that yes. I use. Was, I was experimenting there. We also got these Nutella earrings. This is also an AI background. Super fun, super fun. Love. And finally, this Talbot's Scallop Hem Skirt, which I'm also glad to see go because the pictures are not good. The skirt itself is very pretty. And Dan's packing it up right now. It's really, really nice. So here's the two tickets for the earrings. Oh, these are boxes. Let me get a box for these. Okay. I'm gonna remember that I could do this. Yeah. I could do a, a different bag if I want. No, that would be okay. Okay, but I have the. Yeah, I know. Okay. He's so happy to have the Tyvex. Oh, makes it so easy. Just get it in there. Yeah. Seal them up. Nice. Thank you. Uh -huh. So that bundle sold all together for $50. Perfect. Yay. Love it. All right. Okay. Is this this? Yes. Next yes. is Jay McLaughlin. We talk about this brand quite a lot. We've been finding it more recently. Mm -hmm. Sure so have. That's exciting. At the thrift as well. I used yeah. to only see it at estate sales. This is, uh, I love the sleeves on this. Jay McLaughlin, women's size large, open front cardigan sweater, navy ruffle sleeve knit. 
and it is a ruffle sleeve. This sleeve is a statement. Uh-huh. Uh, I will show you the tag. Let's get down here to it. The J. McLaughlin's always on a brightly colored tag or kind of a contrasting color tag. It's not always blue, though. I found one today that was not blue. Yeah. So just keep your eye out for that. It's a very small tag. Uh, but the, the pieces sell pretty quickly. You're not going to get rich off them. It's on the line with Chico's and stuff like that. This uh, sold for $22. All right. So like I said, you're not going to get rich, but this piece is sell really fast. Yeah. Okay, next is Soft Surroundings. These are our favorite things to sell. This is Soft Surroundings full-on pants. Yep, pretty much. We love selling full-on pants. <laughs> uh, soft Surroundings. Size medium, cotton stretch, ankle pants, button hem, elastic waist. And these sold for 15 bucks. Uh, we've been taking a little bit... Well, first of all, the prices have lowered on Poshmark. Yes. Uh, on a lot of things. But also we've been taking lower offers because we took off the shipping discount. We used to list everything with a shipping discount and we don't do that anymore. And uh, so now instead of taking, you know, it was like $2.95, $1.99, I don't know. What, the discount? Yeah. 202 202 So now like that would be like getting 17 for those pants. Yeah. Yep. It was a little different than 15 Whatever. Same money. All right, next is Karen Kane, which is a brand we know nothing about. Zero. We got this in an estate <laughs> sale. So when you watch us, learn the bad things too. Like this only sold for ten, uh, $8. Ooh. It's fine. We don't yeah. know any about this brand. We had a buyout. We bought it. We tried it. Yeah. This is Karen Kane, women's size 14, khaki Bermuda shorts, 100% linen, 15-inch inseam. This was in the Bermuda short kick. Yeah, and we listed these because they were 100% linen. Yep. The pictures aren't great. I'll give you that. Um, but sometimes the fabric can outsell a brand. That's also true. Yep. This did not happen in this case. And so for $8, they go. Bye. <clears throat> we sold quite a, a few pairs of shoes, which you are not accustomed to doing. The next is a pair of Trotters shoes. Again, from an estate sale. But these heeled loafers do pretty well for us, no matter the brand. Um, Trotters, women's size 9, N, narrow, loafers, shoes, block heel, 2-inch, tan, and the style number. Uh, these will be 10 bucks, which is not great. Nope. But they did go on Poshmark, so they can go into any priority mail packaging. Uh, so I'm going to use this now extinct flat rate A box. There you go. Regional rate A. We got you. Oh, so uh, the style of these is what we were hoping would sell it. So what happens is when we go to an estate sale and we buy out the whole thing, we're left with some things that we wouldn't have picked up at the thrift. And so we have to decide. And there's no real comps for that exact thing. So we're like, will the style sell this? And we sell that style in Clark's a lot. Yeah. So we're like, we'll try it because we sell. We don't just like rando try things. Because it's time and money. I do sometimes. <laughs> it's time and money, right? And so for this, it was nice to, to try it. And now we are. All right. Trotters. Cool. The next is a pair of jeans from AG, which is Adriana Goldschmied. And we're a lot more picky with this brand. This is an old tag, 3439. We've had this probably two or three years now. Uh, we are going to go through, I think, and, and do a little more calling. We did some at the beginning of last year. Yeah. Here's here's what they are. I, the AG24 regular Farrah high rise skinny velvet jean in rich carmine maroon purple. Uh, this sold for $22. And mm. yeah. AG is one of those brands where they're really good about putting the name of the style yeah. in all of their pants. It's like right there. There are some models, and particularly in men's jeans, that can do pretty well still. But this is just probably not one of them. 22 is okay, but we had them a long time. Yeah. Okay, next we have a big old bundle. Right. Big old bundle. Big old bundle. Big old bundle. Big old bundle. There's a, there's a big old banger sale coming up, too. You just wait. It was a Christmas miracle. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to roll through these 
Uh, a lot of these are Chico's pieces, and a lot of them look like vacation wear. Love it. This is Chico's women's one size lace poncho, open front, ombre dyed cover up. This is a bundle? Yes, it's a very. Mm -hmm. Remember my bundle sign? Yep. Okay. I'll restock those boxes. Yay. So this is the first piece. Love these Chico's more boho pieces. They do really well for us. Okay, next is this Jones New York women's size extra large sweater top, v-neck, tunic length, chunky knit black. And Jones New York is not a brand we typically pick up, but in estate sales, it is plentiful. This is true. So then again, we go by style and these kind of tunic tops, the chunky knits are doing really well for us, particularly in V-neck. Here's the tag, Jones, New York. This one felt like a little bit higher quality than I'm used to feeling from this brand. So you grabbed the tickets from us already. I did. Thank you. Okay. And then next we have a Chico's Travelers. These are, uh, this is just not this. What am I doing? What is this? This is this. Yes. This is not a Chico's Travelers. This is a Mono B Women's Plus Size 1XL Oversized Mineral Wash. I see they have a yep. lot of two. So these two workout shirts. And then here's the Chico's Travelers I had mentioned before. Perfect. And this is the women's size three US 16 extra large tank top black slinky stretch wide strap. These tank tops do so well for us. The travelers and the micro fiber ones. Mm -hmm. And then finally, this Chico's women's size three US 16 extra large tunic blouse layered stretch sheer poly top. And so the, I like the mannequin on this one because you can see the sheerness at the bottom. It's really hard to show on a flat leg. So I think this is a pretty good picture situation. And this is, this, I don't know, is this a viewer? We don't know. Uh, uh, this is Gwen, so I'm not sure. Thanks, Gwen. Thank you. And, you know, this is when it helps to do these big estate sale bios, especially on Poshmark, because you can bundle. We have a lot of one size, a lot of another size. You know, we have stuff to choose from and on Poshmark for seven dollars I would get a big old bundle too if some closet had enough of my size right all right okay next next we have Gwen thank you thank you um, we have a White House Flock Market. This is a subsidiary of Chico's. Do not use stock photos. I repeat, <laughs> do not. Oh, sorry. That bundle sold for $115. Woohoo! Love it. Love it. Okay. Right. This is a tweed dress, new with tags. And I don't know about our thrift stores, but they think White House Black Market is the best thing ever. Yeah, man. $24.99. <laughs> they, I mean, they price this stuff so high. I don't know who told them that this was, this is not. Anyway, this came from an estate sale. It is expensive retail, uh, but it ended up selling on Poshmark for 25 Which Tweed is, is good. about normal. Yeah, that's normal for that brand. Yeah. I don't know. Our thrift store marks it up like it's Gucci. I'm like, <laughs> what is going on? Why? And then the actual Gucci is like three ninety nine. Yeah, I took the move Donatino today for one ninety nine. I $1. saw that. I saw that. I was like, you gotta be kidding. Oh, we have a thrift haul for you coming this week. Oh man, our videos are gonna be a little bit sporadic for a while. Just bear with us. We're trying to get them pre filmed as much as possible. Trying. Okay, this right. next one is the beginning of another bundle. Yes, it's a three piece bundle. And thank you, thank you. the first piece is this Chico's women's size two. Those are the pants, right? Yeah. Yeah. Chico's women's size two. My cup is leaking everywhere. Yeah. I need a remedy. 
Um, Chico's women's size 2, US 12, large utility pants, roll tab 10, black modal blend. These utility pants always sell for us. Yep. Uh, they have cargo pockets on the side. Roll tab hem is looks like that. And there's the Chico's tag. Next are these Carlisle pants. Carlisle women's size 12 dress pants, cotton stretch navy trouser, flat front textured. Uh, these are all really hard to take pictures of, but Dan has a better way now. Kind of. So here's the Carlisle tag. <laughs> I find this at the thrift store quite a lot, and out of state sells even more. So you can be on the lookout for that, but it's not as valuable as it once was. That is a true statement. And then Chico's, this thing is nice. Nice. Chico's women's size 2, US 12 large, open front sweater, cardigan, red, black, chain, detail. This thing is super nice. And this bundle sold together for $51. Here's a Excellent. close-up of the chain. Is this a viewer? I don't know. Uh, I don't know either. Also, but... Meg sent us a present. What? Meg sent us a present. Yeah. It was so nice. Yeah. Thank you. We got that. We yeah. opened our P.O. box and we're like, what? That was very nice. Thank you very much. Meg at Lilac Seller sent us the most thoughtful present. Thank you. So nice. So, yeah, I don't know if this is a viewer, but Catherine, if you're a viewer, thank you. Thank you. Um, okay, banger sale <clears> on <throat> Clark. You're going to stop what you're doing and look at the screen. I'll tell you when. This I'll has tell you when. Potential for like. This could be like say this is sale of the year territory. On the first day. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we go. Look Come now. On. This is a full suit from the brand Chitin. Chitin, men's size US 48 long, Italian 58 long, gray suit, three button, patch pocket, surgeon's cuffs. You guys. Uh oh gosh. This is a little older. Oh, <laughs> ooh, yeah, get it. <laughs> <'Cause sometimes, laughs> um, but seriously, this is. I'm gonna show you the tag. This is in the in the neighborhood of a retail, I would guess, five figure price tag suit, like ten ten thousand dollar plus suit. Crazy. It looks it's like this. Crazy. To me, it doesn't look like an expensive tag, but it is. But if you know what that says underneath, that says made by hand. Yeah. That's what that says. Cuchito Amado. It is a very nice brand of suit. We cannot overstate that. Even if they're custom made, similar to this one, um, even if they're older, yeah. they do extraordinarily well for us. Uh, we don't find it a lot, but when no, we do no, find we it, we list it and we list it high and we wait. Uh, I found this at an estate sale for two dollars and fifty cents. Five bucks, half price. That's amazing. <laughs> it sold for four hundred dollars. Yeah. Yeah. I had it listed for six hundred bucks, uh, and I got an offer for four, and sold that immediately. Yeah. yeah. So crazy to me, but the person got an amazing deal. Yep. It's just crazy to me that something that's four hundred dollars is an amazing deal. You know what I mean? <laughs> we don't sell four hundred dollar things every day. Okay? No, so we this sure is like don't. a big one. Big one. This is a really big one. The next one is a very small one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is anthropology. This is so cute. I, I wonder if I bought this for myself. It looks like something I would wear. Uh, uh, yeah, I can see that. Anthropology Florite, size small, yellow lace shell, tank, camisole top, sold for nine bucks. And somebody named Amy, Amy bought it. So. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, it, this is Florite. Some of their stuff does really well, but you do have to look it up. I'm pretty sure what happened is I bought this to try on and I never, it never made it to me. Yeah. That happens. It got steamed and then just listed. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next is here we go. Chico. Keep it going. Keep it going with the cheek. Oh yeah. 
she goes. Women, size 2, US 12, large, pullover, sweater, bath towel, shirt, tail, top, knit, rose, new with tags. Love that. And there's the tag. It's sold for $28. Okay, next is another thing I think came from an estate sale. You think what? I think this came from an estate sale. This is splendid. Yeah, it must have. And that's not a brand we typically pick up. Okay. Splendid women's size medium t-shirt dress, tie-dye, black, white, cotton, blend, boho, cover-up. This is definitely blue and white. Love that for us. Love. Uh, it's sold for $16. We're trying to get better at this, like, communication between the photography and me listing it or yeah. somebody else listing it. Uh, yeah, this is definitely blue in person. Yep. And it does look blue in this photo, but, like, in the other photos, and depending on whose computer you're looking at. Right. So that's something we need to fix in the new year. We're well aware of it. Okay, next are these toddler shoes. Where did these come from? Uh, these came, I think these came in one of the boxes that we got sent from one of our viewers. That is so, I've never seen these. That's why I'm looking at like this. These are very cute. It looks like a little royal child would wear these. Yeah. This is not something we normally sell. So thank you for giving us this amazing stuff that we're not uh, knowledgeable on, but they sell. Look at that. The salt water sandal, toddler, size eight shoes, navy blue. I swear, I think one of those royal children wears these. <laughs> Probably. On their holiday to the coast. Right. Uh, these sold for $16. Love. I told you we sold some shoes because the next thing is shoes as well. Yeah. I know. Some of the shoe sales are really good, too. Really? Yeah. I didn't keep up as well as I should have. Next is a pair of dance goes. These used to be the best things ever. And it slowed down for us quite a bit. But still, uh, dance go, women's size 39, US 8, Mary Oxblood, leather, Mary Jane, slip-on clog, mule shoe. So this isn't your standard dance go. I have a little bit going on here. They're real cute. And these were not listed that long. Maybe six months or something. Some of our dance goes have been there. You want to twist them to make sure they don't just crumble in your hands. Yeah, that can happen. Dry yeah. Uh, these sold for $23. Mm. We have three in them. Again, I don't think we pick these up. We don't really pick up dance go that much anymore. When I say I don't think we pick them up, meaning we got them in a buyout somehow. Like right. we didn't. We didn't them. choose them. Okay. Next is J. Jill making her first appearance today. <laughs> <laughs> All these women always coming up in our videos. Right. Uh, this is J. Jill. Women, size 3X, Simply Supima Cotton Crew Neck Tunic Beige Tan, sold for 25 bucks. Love that J. Jill tells you exactly what it is yes. almost every time. This is the Simple Supima Crew Neck. I mean, really, just tells you right there. Right there. It makes it great for us as sellers. <laughs> Look, picture looks very good. I don't really know what's topic. going on there. <laughs> we have some color issues in between our two photo stations. We're working on it. And anyway, it's great because the buyer, if they have this in another color, can look on their shirt and then type in exactly what's on their shirt. Yes. It helps us as resellers a lot. It does. So put it exactly in your title like that because that's yeah, what they're saying. If the manufacturer is going to give it to you, I like think. Might as well. All right, the next is another anthropology piece. We're selling through this stuff. That's good. Yep. This is anthropology. Whoa, two in a row. Oh. 
Pilcro women's size medium. Is this is sparkle top. This is sparkle top. Swiss dot, ruffle top, white peasant blouse sheer. This sold for $21. And let's see if we can get the tag in there. Pilcro. So this is uh, formerly Pilcro in the letterpress. I believe right now they're just branding it as Pilcro. So this is a newer Here. piece. Okay, next is another anthropology piece, which I would have picked this up no matter what the brand was, because it's a broomstick skirt, and you know, you know those are doing really well for us right now. And um, here it is. Anthropology Women's Size 4. This is a good a Poplin Tiered Midi Skirt by Blooming Print. This is printed, it looks like it's printed on a letterpress or something similar. Wood block situation. It's really cool. So it's got that stereotypical like 90s broomstick skirt vibe. And here's the tag. Blooming print. And you kind of know it's anthropology by the way they do the size at the bottom. It's there. Been the bins, I think. Yeah, I believe this was bins. That's why I said I would have bought it no matter what the brand was. And this did sell for $57. Excellent. Someone asked a question about the size and the measurements and stuff, and Dan was quick to answer it, and then it converted, so that's great. Next is a really good, to contrast with our bad loafer sale, we have a really good loafer sale. Another, <laughs> this is a Nikhil loafer, but it's a similar style. This is Tory Burch, and this is our final Toshmark sale. We did have a bundle come through right before the video, so there'll be some more. But these are uh, Tory Burch suede loafers. Women's size eight and a half. Gold buckle. These sold for $76. Nice. And this is, they weren't listed that long, maybe a couple of months. Really happy to see that sale come through today. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think that we have a transition period here. Yeah, that is a Get the new screen. We're moving on to eBay, baby. Yes. I believe there's 31 over there. Oh, man. I know. He is just dripping everywhere. I gotta fix this situation. No, I just have to flip one around the other way. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, eBay was a little bit of a... eBay was eBay. <laughs> Those of you experienced with the platform know exactly what we mean. All right, let me get this other screen going here. More. More. Get this out. All right. Okay. Okay. So we're moving on to the Eves, and we changed all of our shipping policies to, for seven day handling, and something sold and they said ship now we didn't list anything did not so i contacted ebay and mm, you all aren't gonna believe what ebay told him you all are not gonna believe this like tell him the, the rep told me to just print the label we were out of town we couldn't ship this thing to just print the label and then if in parentheses and when i get the defect to just reach back out and they'll they'll take care of it great okay so this sold today which is one of my favorite things to sell <laughs> vintage plush <clears throat> anyway if you know me you know the vintage plush is my favorite category of things to sell 
and this is no oh, exception. Oh, this is super vintage. Vintage 1978, Good great year. year. Gunned, love me tan, bunny rabbit, felt flowers on ears, rattle, well loved. This sold for $48.93. <laughs> um, perfect. I love when I do that. Okay. This was a bins rescue. And I was always going to get this. I would never leave this behind. Never. And what I do in the title, the hot tip. Hot tip. Is to describe oh, describe the vintage plush the way that it looks. Like if you were trying to find this plush and you didn't know what it was. Because you can Google image it and find almost any plush's actual name. But most people don't know the actual name. So you want to be like, okay, remember that bunny I had as a kid? Like, yeah. Didn't I have like flower? Yeah, they were made of felt. You know, go through that process in your mind when you're listing it. Because that's how someone's going to find it. And I'm very excited that this is getting a new home and that we got 50 bucks. Yes. Double great. Okay. The next thing just sold tonight as well. This is a corset and corsets are doing really well still. Thumbs hand. up. Yeah. Did man. you thumbs up something? I just thumbs up. No, I did not. So it's listening as well. Oh, great. <laughs> Perfect. Just yes. what we need. Yes. Uh, also, I am very thankful to have a mannequin that I can put uh, this course in. Mm. Okay, we're going to have an issue. Let's look up our wall art. Right. Okay. Um, here we go. This is Friedrichs of Hollywood. Friedrichs? Yeah. You say Fredericks? Yeah. Fredericks of Hollywood? Fredericks? Fre Frederick F Froderick? I don't like to say Fredericks because it sounds like <laughs> Fredericksburg. Uh. Uh, women's size 38, corset top, purple, black, lace, vintage. I don't think Fredericks of Hollywood exists anymore. Maybe it's an online only thing. I don't know. But I'm very happy to not have to hang these on a hanger. Yeah. They look much more appealing on the mannequin, in my opinion. They didn't ever quite work on the dress form for us, uh, but we still pick them up because they do they do sell. This sold for twenty four forty five. Next, Next up. is the creek. <laughs> the creek, you wouldn't last a day on the creek. <laughs> All right. Um, this is called Rudder Creek. <laughs> Cold Water Creek women's uh, plus size 2X tapestry jacket stand collar three quarter sleeve USA sold for $35. We can, we can make this work in a paper envelope, right? Yes. Uh, we are very, very picky with the creek, but I'm never going to leave a tapestry coat behind and I don't care what the brand is. This is a tapestry coat. It looks like a carpet bag like Mary Poppins would carry. Looks like your grandma's couch. Or something you would hang on your wall in the Middle Ages. <laughs> uh, I don't care. Castle what... decor, if you will. <laughs> Castle chic. <laughs> Castle core. Yes. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the new one for 2024. The year of Castle core. <laughs> you heard it here first. I've lost it. I've lost it. <laughs> this is why we don't do videos at night. <laughs> I am 100% sober. This is the this is the pitiful part. I wish I was not. I wish there was wine at these. God. All right. Next. There can be wine. No, I got to concentrate. This is our business. <laughs> okay. Next is Talbot, who is making, Talbot is making the first appearance tonight. Yep. And this is Talbot's Women's Size 12 Wrap Top Coral Collared Silk Back Blouse Quarter. Oh, half sleeve. Lord. Okay. First of all, the mannequin saved this top. Can you uh -huh. imagine this on a flat leg? You'd be like, what is happening there? Right. Oh. And this is what? The this color? is very dark. I know. Oh I've been trying to tell you some of these pictures are dark. Oh, look at the bag. That's so cute. Nice. It's uh, April and her mad bow tying skills. Yeah, she's a really good bow tire. Pure silk. Uh, so the t the size was taken out of this, and a lot of the clothes we find, the size is taken out. And I know why on most people uh, at estate sales, 
if people are older and have any kind of dementia, size is a really big trigger for a lot of people. So a lot of times the caretakers cut the tags out with the size. Uh, luckily, we know that that mannequin is a size 12. And, and everything else we bought at that estate sale was also a size 12. So it wasn't a huge jump for us to like... I wonder what size that is. <laughs> right. And so we were able to list it. But sometimes we just rely on measurements. Right. And if that's all you have to go on is measurements, like 80, 90% of the time, you can find a size chart on the website of the manufacturer of the garment you're looking for, and it'll help you out there also. Right. Okay. The next is a new brand to us. Yes. Uh, this is called Marissa Christina. Mm-hmm. It's a maxi dress, and it looks like this. Marissa Christina, size medium, linen, maxi dress, modest, wrap style, concealed, slit, black. Oh, this is that really wacky right. one. Right, yeah, so yeah, it, yeah. it has a slit, but it's in the front and in the back, but the things overlap. So you, there's no visible, but it allows you to walk, right. which I think is great, because sometimes it's hard to walk with no slit, you know? Uh, you don't know, but I know. <laughs> Here's the brand. Anytime something can be worn as, you know, no slit or something, I will put it in the title in the maxi link category. Um, I put modest wrap style. It's it's really not a modest dress because it's not long sleeved, but I did want to include it in the title about the slit and the wrap because I think it's pretty unique. It was a very unique garment. And you can sure. easily layer this with something to make it modest, like a blouse uh, or a sweater. It's sold for $32.01. Okay, me walking over here is just great. Okay. Next is Broadway and Broom, which is a Madewell brand. You mean you threw something over there? No, I just it's just where the box has to be. Okay. This is, I think this was mine. Uh, Broadway and Broom, women's size, extra small, cream, sheer, rainy, blouse, popover, flowy, boho. I just tried to explain it as best as I could. Uh, this is one of the ones where April took pictures at her house. And so the pictures aren't as great as they are maybe now. But that's okay. It sold for $17. I do like that brand for myself. I find the styles uh, are a little more intricate than okay. maybe Madewell would stereotypically be. I'm not sure the resale value on it though, you guys. I just resold it because it was mine. All right. Next, we have some menswear. Yeah. And the ball brand sport coat experiment continues. It's continuing. This is Calvin Klein men's size 40 regular sport coat blazer jacket. Extreme Thanks. slim fit. <laughs> Whoa, black. This sold for $32.01. It does take us a little bit longer to list menswear, but I mean, we were selling Chico's for 20. So Dan was like, why aren't we selling menswear for 40? Right. Or 32 in this case. I mean, we would have liked to get 40 for this. Sure. Here, extreme. Extreme. Again, Calvin Klein suits and uh, sport coats, they have the model in them. Love that. Right. And it's one of those things that it's extremely accessible. And a lot of a lot of guys that wear it know exactly what size they wear. Yep. So it makes it easier to shop for less risk on the buyer's part. Right. Okay. Next, we have soft surroundings. Soft surroundings, size medium, touchable tunic, cotton stretch, oatmeal popover collar. And this sold for $26.74. All right. And soft surroundings okay. did just go out of business or oh. sold to. Uh, <clears throat> Did they close you? They were Water? acquired by somebody. By the creek? By the creek. I think the creek did. The creek swallowed him up. <laughs> I don't know if it was the creek. I think it was the creek. <laughs> so we're still waiting to see what happens with soft surroundings in the resale world. Is it going to... People thought Dress Barn was going to be super popular. I remember that. They were like, Dress Barn's out of sick. Dude. Get all the Dress Barn. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't work out that way. So we'll just have to wait and see. Give it some time. Yes. Okay, next is Lafayette 148. This is a pretty good one. 
This is a new attack piece. All right. Visca Lafayette 148 size large ink dark blue v-neck long sleeve sweater double knit new and it sold for 52 dollars nice. is new a tag a double knit means um let me get in here and show you the tag and then i'll explain that yeah lafayette 148 oh, yeah 350 three. bucks yep Dang. we have three dollars into it um so a double knit is a knit is on the front normally on a sweater and it's on the front and a pearl is on the back so the front pattern looks different than the back but a double knit the pearls are sandwiched together and so on both sides it looks the same it looks right. like knit on both and sides it, and you can thicker. usually feel it it's thicker and it's a little heavier yeah very popular in the 70s very popular all right uh next we have a turtleneck. All right. The Chico. There you go. Uh, these Chico's black turtlenecks, they're ribbed. We find them at the thrift all the time. We don't pick up a lot of basics, but we pick up these. Yeah, these really are silk well. blend, too. These are yeah, nice. Yeah, they're really, really nice. I think we had a pair of these. Chico's women's size one, US eight medium turtleneck sweater, silk blend, black long sleeve. I think April's I, April one. had one of them. <laughs> this sold for $25. And uh, turtlenecks are in this season. There it is. Okay. All right. Next. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Get out of order. Okay. Thank you. It's like really getting difficult down here. All right. Is next. Anything is... I can do to help out? No. Mm -hmm. No. Great. <laughs> Talbots. <clears throat> pants Talbot's women's size 14 petite Chatham pants stretch blue si <coughs> side zip <laughs> crop trouser oh these are staying in Dallas right. uh, these sold for 20 bucks no, again not the best pictures like look at the difference in color there. Ooh, 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 so ooh, I should not put ooh. these in a yeah look at that though it's crazy wow uh, this blue is really hard to take a picture of. I think we've gotten it better now. They're still waiting Good. on your color video. Are you going to do it this week? Maybe. Do it this week. Okay. I'm still trying to perfect the technique. It's still not. Um, okay. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. So these are nice 16 ounces. Okay. Next is this MG? Yeah, it is. MG. Yep. I left a lot of this at the thrift, but I did too. Yesterday or today. Was that today? What was today? Wow. <laughs> All right. This is MG women's size medium peasant top, red floral embroidery, keyhole back, cotton blend. Uh I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. Anything that looks like Johnny was, I will pick it up and try it. This looked like Johnny was to me. And it sold for $14. So not the greatest profit there, but I think we only have a dollar into it. So that's good. I'm really, really picky with MG. Some of it's really good and some of it's just like the basics and stuff. I don't. Okay. Next is a men's pair of sweatpants from Champion. These are my friend Melissa's on consignment with us. We do not do consignment, but sometimes. <laughs> Uh, this came from, yeah. came from Linda. Well, we had two pairs of sweatpants. I don't know. Maybe those are, are the Linda ones. I think these are Linda ones. Oh. Well, we had another pair, too. What's the number? The... 11860. No, these are from Melissa for yeah. sure. Um, Champion Men's Size Large Power Blend Fleece Jogger Sweatpants Black Large Script Logo. It says large twice. That's okay. Um, these only sold for 10 bucks, y'all, so just, that's what they're worth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Champion had a moment. They were having a moment. Yep. I, I guess maybe the moment has the passed. moment has passed. Okay, next is Reset by Jane. I don't know this brand. I'm going to show you that stock photo, though. Thank you. 
This is cool. It is really cool. I had to use the stock photo because the mannequin just wasn't telling the right story. Uh, reset by Jane. Women's size small, taupe, faux suede, jacket, tan, open front ah! stretch. And I guess this is a boutique brand. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I had to use the stock photo here. Maybe the color? I was trying to figure it out. Anyway. That doesn't look too bad on the mannequin. Oh, I think it was because the mannequin was just like all, all torso. <laughs> I couldn't see the jacket for the torso. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've been trying to put open things like this on the dress form, but here it is reset. It looks like that. And this will pretty quickly actually for $38.21. I'm not sure I would have looked this up at the thrift. So now I know. And now you know. Yes. That's half the battle. Okay, this is what I was trying to think of in the thrift store. Remember the brand? And I was like, ah, oh, that brand we like to sell. Okay. Uh yeah. This is Kobe Halpern. I I just found this again. Yes. Today. I'm gonna show you. The piece that'll probably do better than this. Yeah. Kobe Halperin is the brand. Um, women's size small, green silk blouse top, crochet, balloon sleeve, tiny flaw. This sold for $20, but I have no doubt that it would have gone for much more Yes. had it not been flawed. It's a really pretty top. This brand does really well. We looked at the sell through when we first got this, and we were like, wow, this is a good brand. Yep. Uh, the flaw is right there. I don't. I mean, that's the tiniest of tinies. And right there. It had a couple and they were on the front but here's the brand just so you know what you're looking for the sell through on this brand is really really good meaning that there are more solds than there are listed ideally and if it's not flawed the value is pretty good too yeah <laughs> we're just anyway. yeah yeah oh they paid we better wrap that up tonight actually it was this horse show coat Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah, yeah. if they pay, but they bought it, well, anyway. Okay. Yeah, I, can, I mean, I can do it in tomorrow also. Oh, yeah. Okay. The next is J. Jill Women's Size 3X Pants, Ponty Knit, Slim Leg Stretch, Charcoal Pull On. Uh, we almost always get these plus size Ponty Knit pants from J. Jill. It's, <laughs> it's a no brainer. Yep. They always sell. The pattern ones, the solid ones. Uh, we actually sell these in tall as well a lot. They just must be a really good staple. Uh, and these sold for $22.91. Uh, $22 yeah. And our thrift normally marks these at like $6.99, and then we go half off day. So we normally get them around $3.50. Yeah. You're not going to get rich, but you're still making money. So we like to have a mixture of things that will make us rich and then other things that will make <laughs> us not poor. Right. See how that works out? <laughs> Life's about balance. Yeah, totally. Next is Chico's pants, which we love to sell as well. Chico's size one, US 8 medium. That's velour. beautiful. <laughs> Pull on pants, black. Stretch elastic waist holiday. Yeah. And these sold for $22.75. Maybe somebody's aunt came over in velvet pants or velour pants and they were like, mm, those are nice. <laughs> Gotta get me a pair of those. I mean, let me just find some of those. Uh, we did retake pictures of these just so you know, because we went to list them and they didn't look like velour. They look like what I call the big black blob. And so Dan retook pictures of these, and I've no doubt that's probably why they sold. All right. Okay, next. Come on, Eileen. Yeah, man, let's go. This is a white dress that's sold in the middle of winter. I love it. Eileen Fisher, women's size extra large, Irish linen, midi dress, white cotton lining, sleeveless, and this sold for $37. Excellent. I was super happy with this because I rescued it. I used yep. that white out product and this thing was dinge and it came right out and it just looked great yep came back to life irish linen right there and see this is why we don't have seasonal stipulations in our business you can do what you want to in your business obviously 
but we just list everything all year long and sometimes the out of season stuff does better yep that's so you sold. can't find it anywhere else except online yeah exactly it's over 37. nice okay next is a coat from chico's and it's purple purple coat oh All right, this is the Chico's Women's Size 3 US 16 Extra Large Jacket, purple belted button front, lined poly cotton. This sold for $38. Right. Some of the Chico's <laughs> outerwear, I don't know if you guys remember the tapestry coat we sold for like 70. Yep. The Chico's outerwear can do quite well. We, we always pick it up, particularly the bins. Um, look how different these colors are. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That's our New Year's resolution is to figure out a way yeah. to get the colors consistent. Yeah, consistent. It's tough though, because you're working with more different people with different devices. So it's tough. Okay. Okay, next is Athleta, which we're very picky about. This is a skirt, and it's of the maxi, well, it's a high-low skirt. Athleta, women's size medium, beach, comber, pure vita, midi skirt, excuse me, high-low stretch drawstring, and this sold for $18. Yeah, right. That's why we're more picky with Athleta now. Yep. It's an older piece. You can tell by the tag. Okay. Yeah. Uh, next is a new to us activewear brand. Yes, yes. And I had to use a stock photo on this. I'm sorry, but I had to. This is Splits 59. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Uh, size small, victory leggings, 7 8. That's the length. High waist, navy black, interior. Uh, key pocket and they are black and navy and it was just very hard to tell that story in the pictures they look better here than i thought they did on my computer for yeah, sure the right there. it was just hard because we didn't have a side view you know yeah and i really like this one because you could see it right. anyway this brand is good these sold for 28 dollars really quickly yeah. let me see if i can show you if it has a tag does it i don't know if it has it a looks tag. like that yeah, it'll either have the two dots in the 59 or an, or an S in the 59. Definitely recommend that, that friend. Okay. Okay, next is J. Jill again. Yes. This is the Pure Jill Women's Plus Size 3X Black Velour Full Zip Jacket Pima Cotton Model New. This is new with tags. That's weird. That's weird. You want to open it up and see? I mean, it's from when April was doing it at her house. Yeah. So maybe it came off on the box. You know, never got redone. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Uh, this sold for $32. And here's the Pure Jill. And on the tag, it tells you what it is. You didn't see any of that. Here it is. Pure Jill. Oh, no. We're all <laughs> Yeah, the photos of this definitely could have been better. Okay. Okay, next is a Chico's Travelers. This is just a tank top, but it, we sold one in black. And now this one is the same, but it is in tan. Chico's Travelers, women's size zero, US four, small, tan, tank top, shell, stretch, slinky. And this sold for $18. Okay. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right. 
yeah, this probably is go for around 18 to 20. That's pretty good, I think. Obviously, I had it overpriced. I think that was when we first started those. I don't know. Next is Eileen Fisher. Whoa. Dan's having a meltdown over here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is another tank top. Why are we selling so many tank tops? Oh, no, man. People are going on vacations. How much is going on vacation? I, I am yeah, Dang it. When do I get a vacation? I don't know. I'm going, Never. I'm going on a girl's trip. I'm very excited. Never. Eileen Fisher, women's size medium, swing tank top, black, 100% silk, tunic link stretch. And this sold for $30. Nice, nice. Love this basic on a mannequin because you can see how far down an average torso it goes. You can see that kind of covers the bum. Love that. It really helps the buyer understand how they'll look in it. Because it has proportion, which is... Just the best. Um, okay. Next is L.L. Bean. Thank you. Mouse was missing. Okay. I'm missing. This is this is a quick sale. L.L. Yes. Bean Vintage Men's Size Large Sweater Military Style Henley Olive Drab Made in USA. And this sold for $25 very quickly. Very quickly. The Made in the USA L.L. Bean stuff is usually worth a pickup or a second look. Yep. This is Land's End, not L.L. Bean. Oh. I mean, <laughs> that's what I meant. Great, great, great. Wonderful. We'll message them all. Oh. <laughs> uh, this sold for 25. I already said that. Okay. Well, fun times. Fun times. You can see how easily I could mix those two brands up. Okay. Dang it. It's fine. The worst that'll happen is they'll return it. Exactly right. Okay. All right, next More Eileen Fisher. Yes. Is Eileen Fisher. I did use the stock photo again. Not recommended, but sometimes you need to. Eileen Fisher, size small, high rise, viscose jersey, slouchy pant, black stretch USA. Uh, these also, were these April? Yeah. No. 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 It just, look at the picture. You couldn't tell that they were like fitting like that. Okay. I wish we had like legs. <laughs> new legs. New legs. I wish we had new legs. We don't. Uh, these slouchy pants sold for $38.21. Very nice. And I really think the, the stock photo helped to sell those. Yeah, I would I would believe you on that one. There you go. Next is another Aritzia, yeah. but it's a basic. This is also mine. Um, I need to go through my closet again. I have a bunch of stuff in there that needs to come out and get sold. I get listed, I mean, and sold. Aritzia, but this is the brand Wilfred. Wilfred Aritzia, women's size, extra small, white t-shirt top, basic, jersey knit, thin, curved hem, sold for 10 bucks. But you know what, guys? Uh, it was mine, so. Happy to give that a new home. Yep. This is what happens is I get all this stuff from the thrift and then I put it in my closet, <laughs> but I've never tried it on. I did. I wouldn't buy it at the store, <laughs> at you know, at the retail store. And then I have to de-thrift my entire closet like a couple times a year. Do you guys do that too? I'm You're sure. Bringing in mm -hmm. so much. Okay. All right. This is a good one. Yes, this is a really good one. This is Ralph Lauren Purple Label, Woo! and it's a purple sweater. Purple Label, purple sweater. Ralph Lauren Purple Label, women's size small sweater, purple cable knit cashmere. This sold for $107.06. Which is a killer deal. Yeah, someone got for a killer sweater. deal. I think if we would have retaken photos of this. Yeah, probably. Could have done better. Maybe that's what we need to do in the new year is like a couple a day. Go through and just be like. Yeah, they're really nice things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Maybe you could do that while I'm doing Dr. Phil's job. Not his job, my right. job. Your job for him. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it is 98% cashmere. That's crazy. Uh, the purple tag, we always say it, but it's purple. Like, you will know it's purple. Yeah. You know, I don't think we have the actual tag. In here. Yeah, we do. I saw it. Oh, it's up here. Yeah. Yeah, made in Italy. This is a really, really nice piece. And $107 is a steal. Steal. Okay. Okay. Almost finished. Almost there. <laughs> uh, this is Rainy Brook. I do love selling this brand. You don't find it very often. No, we sure don't. Also, this would look better on a mannequin. This is how it looks on the dress form, which is something. Yeah. It's something. It's something. Rainy Brook women's size extra small. Angelique sleeveless lace top black brand new. Uh... And it has those grommets on the side. There you can see this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, brand new brook. It is brand new. So it tells us everything. But here's the tag. And it almost always looks like this. It's white with a gold font. Okay. Yeah. Are couple we rounded pieces, out with two menswears? A couple of menswears to finish it out. Come on, yep. men's. I know, right? We've been shopping for men's, but it's just been... Hard. Here it is. This is a full suit from Ralph Lauren LRL, which is Lauren Ralph Lauren. Men's size 46 regular, drop eight, pinstripe suit, navy blue, of course, tiny flaw. And this sold for $40, which is also a steal. This is how we do our menswear when it's a full suit. We do a, this is that onesie twosie the onesie picture. Choosy. We collage this using an app called Photo Room. It's very easy. You just add two pictures. Trying to find where the flaw is. It's in the pants. I'm looking. I don't put that in there. Uh oh. Yeah. One more day. There it is. It's on the pocket. It's like a tiny little hole. It's like, again, the tiniest. Of oh, my parts. goodness. But it's like a hole, like an actual hole. So Somebody has to get it repaired. Uh, this sold for 40 I mean, Still 40, 40 bucks. bucks, though, yeah. And we have 385 into it. We did this in a haul recently, and it was a very quick sale. So sometimes flaws, I'm telling you, people don't care to get a good deal. Right. Especially if that's the suit you wear and you wear it a lot, you know he's. And it's like, one of those things like it doesn't. It's not going to affect the person wearing it. Nobody will ever notice it because it's like on the inside of the like pocket. It is like. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just showing you that this is close. Yes. So the final thing that we're going to pack up today is sold on eBay, so and it's is... a suit. It's a sport coat. 15, 12, 3. 15, 12, 3. It is another Lauren Roth Lauren. It's not the same person. Huh? Wow, well, crazy that these both sold back to back. I know, right? And this is another brand new listing. I wonder if you could have gotten. Oh, it was a pinstripe. You couldn't. Okay, never mind. I'm talking out loud. <laughs> Lauren, Ralph Lauren, men's size 48 regular, sport coat, gray wool, two buttons, single breasted. This sold for $38.21. Not bad at all. I'm trying to get to the tag. Lauren, Ralph Lauren, just like that. And I'm telling you, he started picking these up and they're just selling so fast. Yep. Who knew? I did not know. Okay, I got it there. Thank you. There it is. Two pounds. And three, three, two. Okay. Ooh. All right. Are you ready? 
Hold on. Just refresh. See all the things we've sold since we've been on. Okay, ready. Okay. Uh, seven ounces. Yep. Six ounces. Yep. Cold Water Creek, flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. Okay. Talbot, six ounces. <clears throat> yep. Marissa, flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. Broadway, five ounces. Okay. Calvin Klein, 113. Yep. 11, 3, 13. Okay. Soft surroundings, 13. Yep. Lafayette, 11. Okay. Chico's flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. Okay. Uh, Talbot's ground, 16 ounces. Yep. Uh, um, G, five ounces. Okay. Champion, flat rate envelope. Yes. Uh, reset, flat rate envelope. Got it. Kobe, six ounces. Six ounces. J. Jill, flat rate envelope. Check. Chico's flat rate envelope. Yep. Uh, Eileen, 10 ounces. 10 ounces. Uh, Chico's flat rate envelope. Flat rate envelope. Athleta, 11 ounces. 11 ounces. Splits, 9 ounces. Yep. Pure gel, flat, padded flat rate envelope. Flat rate padded. Got it. Chico, 7 ounces. Yep. Eileen, 6 ounces. Yep. L.O. Bean, padded flat rate. <laughs> Land's End, padded flat rate. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> okay. Eileen Fisher, flat rate. Yes. Uh, five ounces, Wilfred. Five. Uh, Ralph Lauren, padded flat rate. Flat rate, padded. Ramey Brooke going to Puerto Rico. Oh, very nice. Seven ounces. Hang on a second. Uh, check the delivery address for errors. Edit. Okay, I see why they have their address confirmed. Cut, paste. Okay, okay, ready. Uh, Ralph Lauren, no, no, three. No. What was the weight? Seven ounces. Seven ounces. Okay. Okay, Ralph Lauren is three pounds. Three. Fifteen, twelve, three. Okay. The next Ralph Lauren is two pounds. Two. Eleven, three, thirteen. Okay. Perfect. What? what? So I need to remove one and but I fixed it. Which one? Review and order. You can remove them now and go back and up. Go back. Which one is it? Is it the Puerto Rico? I fixed it. Save. Seven ounces. Okay, well, I'll review. <clears throat> Find out which one got kicked back. We don't know. So we're going to be really careful. Just takes a while. Come on. Trick labels. All right. You ready? First up, the bunny. One zero two one zero is up next. One one eight seven six.
one zero five seven five. Nine two four nine. Six four eight seven. One two zero seven two. Seven two two four. Are you sure? This may be the one I got kicked out. 7224. Okay, so the next, did this one pass? It's the off at self surroundings? Yeah, I don't see that. <laughs> 11925. Yeah, I'm missing that one. Okay. Caught it. Us catching that mistake was brought to you by the Department of Redundancy Department. <laughs> Alright, this is from 11362. That's why we always double check the skew against the name on the label. 10844. Look at what would have happened. Everything would have Everything been else would have been off, yeah. You have to, if you don't have redundancy in, your, in this and you're using the bulk shipping tool, please, New Year's resolution. <laughs> One one eight six zero. One one five six four. One one seven three one. <laughs> one two zero one six. One one five nine one. Okay. One one zero one six. So we have tickets, but if you don't have tickets, you could write with a Sharpie and then put the label over the number right. on your package. Yeah, you just got to have some way to put the SKU number on the package. Um, 11961. Okay. <laughs> 11989. Six two nine seven. One one four two one. One one six four three. One two one three one. One one six two four. Six four six four. Five seven four three. Okay, six zero one three. One twenty one zero eight. Take it. And one zero nine six seven. Okay. 
okay. We just got to figure out what happened with the, this one. Yes. So just, I'm not going to navigate off this page because I need to write down these shipping costs. So, new tag. What happened here? Soft surroundings. What was the weight on it? Twelve or eleven or something? Thirteen. Lord, let me <laughs> yeah definitely not hazardous okay yes dispatch information what apply okay it won't it doesn't it won't give me a quote <laughs> <laughs> um okay what if i try to just purchase the label without the bulk shipping tool okay that works so Maybe. weird. Po Postal service? No. No. U USPS says no. Oh, there's no address. <clears throat> they forgot address. their street address. But there's no number. Uh. No number. So I need to reach out to this person and ask them to fix their address. Because I can't I can't ship to a no uh, if I don't have the house number. I see. Yep. That's the issue there. Okay. Uh, I'll send them a message tonight and hopefully get a response tomorrow morning. And then we're going to input all these numbers and then we'll be back and see how much profit all this awesome stuff brought us to start off the new year. Hopefully it's a lot. Hopefully it's a lot. Okay. Okay. Picnic. Are you sad because Amy's out of town? Or because it's gloomy weather outside? <laughs> uh, it just started to drizzle it's nasty outside so I feel you picnic I feel you Jeremy hey Jeremy what are you hey Psst. Jeremy hey what are you doing say hi to your YouTube friends it's a new year it's 2024. Do you have any idea what that means? <laughs> nope. Not a clue. Nothing. Nothing going on. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys. Okay. Uh, I'm back. It is the next day. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Uh, all of the stuff is in the car and ready to go to the post office. I've done all the bookkeeping for everything and Amy's out of town. Uh, but we're going to be okay. Everything's going to be great. We're going to keep things rolling while she's out of town and we're going to check in on the profit numbers for all the stuff that you just saw. And that, <clears throat> that is an awesome, awesome way to start the new year. Uh, 66 sales were packed up and shipped out of here. Um, granted, it was, you know, it was from that, what was it, Christmas Day through New Year's. So that that wonderful time where time doesn't really exist. Right. So we extended our handling time so we could account for all those, all those days without having to turn on time away. And look, at that 66 yeah like i said 66 things went out for almost 1500 bucks in profit i mean if we can keep that trajectory going that would be something wouldn't it all right uh thank you guys so very much for hanging out with us um it's going to be a great empress 2024 i can feel it 
uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.